Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are telling you, I, I, I am telling you how to make a choose your own adventure on YouTube. I haven't really seen any people try to make this and I thought maybe people want to know how to make them. Maybe they don't. But either way, I'm going to show you how to make it and I have a, like a demo thing. It's, I'm not actually going to make it, but it's kind of like a placeholder for my idea that I just made up so I can have like a face I'm not trying to make something up on the spot. It's called Hit Me Simulator, which brings me to the first step of your thing, which is idea and plan. You want to get your idea. You want to have your idea, whatever it is, and you want to just think of it. And then after that, you want to plan it out. Like, you can see my plan right here. The top option, the video you start out with, and it folds down into different paths that fold in different paths that eventually lead to endings, which this says restart, which leads you up back to the beginning, and then you can replay however many times that the person wants. And for this, I recommend just doing two per option. I, I wouldn't recommend going too far unless you really want to commit and do a lot of work. The longer you go, the more complex and harder this is going to get. Yeah, that's basically it for the first stage. Next step after that, now after you got all your plan, you, you got your you got your full plan, like you have all this down, then you can film, film all of it, film like every single one of these videos. And then you want to obviously edit them out however you please, go through, edit them all. Or not, if you wanna just do one take and then you upload it, that's fine too. Just make sure it's in the right format. That's like that later. And then step three is to upload them all. Upload all of it as unlisted, but make sure you title it, like if some of them are, like if some of your past, like see the past, if some of them are named the same, make sure to label them. Even if you don't, even if they aren't the same, sometimes it can help to like uh, label it as maybe a1, as in that's the first path, and then uh, A2, as in the separate path from the first thing, and then B1, B2, B3, B4, and all so on and so forth. And then that may help you organize everything once it comes to connecting all the paths. And once you've uploaded them all, you've labeled them how you please, the more detail in the planning and doing all that, the easier the next step becomes which is connecting the videos. So to connect the videos, you need to go into YouTube Studio, not the mobile version, the desktop site, and then you need to click on your videos. Then you click on your main video first, and then you want to go over to Elements. And whenever Elements are like, you put the videos, you can put one to three, I believe. It might only be two anymore. And then you can put them at the end of the video, it'll be like the last 20 seconds automatically. And that's the longest they can be, but you can also make them shorter. And once you do that, you wanna go to your next video and you wanna keep doing that until all your paths are connected. And at the end of the path, you wanna just put one video, which leads you back, the viewer back to the beginning. And if you wanna put a little extra work, you can put the links in the description. Once you're done and upload them, you can add links in the description if you want. Maybe that sometimes viewers like having that option. Maybe you don't want to, maybe it's not worth the extra work. If it's not, that's fine too. It's your thing, not mine. And then the final step is you want to publish. Publish it. The first video. The first video. None of the other videos get uh, public. They're all, the rest are just unlisted. Specifically unlisted, they can't be private. They have to be unlisted so it can be connected, but they can't be public so you don't have a bunch of videos just stacked up in your feed and it makes no sense whatsoever. And yeah, basically once you've done that, and assuming you got your thumbnail and everything done, uh, that basically sums up how to do it. If I miss something, make sure to tell me in the comments. And if you have any questions, tell me in the comments. Next section is just going to be me going over the mistakes I have made. Two big ones. The first big mistake I have made is wrong angles. What does that mean? Like, it means the frame was the wrong size. I made it like it was short. And since some of the paths were shorter than a minute, every time I tried to upload them, YouTube turned it into a short. So I had to then make an ugly thing that widened out the video. 
and it didn't look as good as I wanted it to because I filmed it in the wrong angle, and yeah, that really screwed it up because it didn't look as good as I wanted it to. It's a big no-no. Don't want to do that. And then my second mistake was not enough organization. My first one I did was like a blackjack thing, and everything was like hit, stand, hit, stand, hit, stand. And I didn't label them. I didn't think, hmm, maybe I won't be able to tell the difference if I just put them as hit or stand. I won't know. And that just made it take so much longer than if I just put the labels and had a more organized fashion. Yep. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing my experience of how to create the Choose Your Own Avengers. I'm not exactly a good person at it, but I know how to do it. I know how to make them, and I felt like that was good enough. So I'll see you next one.